Best damn podcast, the best damn town. You want to get up, get ready to get down. Welcome to the greatest damn town in Montana, Great Falls. I'm Rebecca Ingham. And I'm Shannon Newth. And, and we're, we're No, no damn, damn Experts. Now, people, um, we're past 100 episodes, We right? are now, yes. yes. And the important thing to know, when we say we're not damn experts, we're talking about hydroelectric power experts. <laughs> we're not. That's um, true. Please understand, dam is in reference to the five dams we have here that generate hydroelectric mm-hmm. power. Thank you, Northwestern Energy. Yeah. That was a not a reminder. paid sponsorship. <laughs> Just thought it can I would. be though if they wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to send us money. Yeah. Um, but today, Shannon, mm-hmm. would you say we have experts on the podcast? I sure do. I, I, sh- I sure do. I would say that. I, there's literally chocolate sitting in front of me, so my brain it is already just like you completely <laughs> up for the on the chocolate. Episode. Yes, we have some sweet experts with us today. We have Angie and Katie from Candy Masterpiece. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello. Thank you so much yes. for having us here. This is wonderful. Well, thank you for coming and thank you for bringing um, samples Treats. with you. Yes, you know, I, <laughs> Shannon's been on the team for a shorter period of time. But we used to make it a requirement, like if someone made products, we would just simply slightly ask, oh, and if you're going to come do the podcast, you can bring a sampling of your stuff. Yeah. And we've done that with beer makers and they have yet to bring any up. Right. Why were the beer makers in this episode as well? I know. Good point. I am uh, Brad with City Bar is going to join us (gasps) um, this holiday season as well to talk about the iconic Tom and Jerry. Kind of hoping... Tom we and Jerry's might be have you ever, part of that podcast. Have you guys ever had a Tom and Jerry? Obviously. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Oh, I think yeah. that's like, if you live in Great Falls, you have you to. You have, have to. One. It's a staple. It's an yeah. icon. Oh, yeah. Well, yes. I thought everyone on planet Earth knew what a Tom and Jerry was. Nope. Uh, nope. Turns out it is not true. No. Mm-mm. So uh, we'll educate them. Yes, so please. today we're going to talk about... <laughs> Candy. Yes. <laughs> mm. And if it's not beer for me, uh, it, it, yeah. it's candy. Yeah. Yep. Specifically chocolate, especially. <laughs> oh, yes. I love this it. That's why I'm drooling. Now, can I just share a quick story yeah, before please. we jump into this? One of the greatest gifts I ever received, I had done some volunteer work for the Junior League of Great Falls many, many, many years ago. And as a thank you, they gave me a box of fudge from Candy Ooh. Masterpiece. And I was new to Great Falls and hadn't yet sourced the candy <laughs> store. Yeah. And they had given me all the flavors of fudge. I'm like, well, this is a brilliant, wonderful gift. And they said, are you going to share it? I'm like, no, Why? I don't think Why? you understand what a gift is. <laughs> <It's right. laughs> Doesn't well, mean I have to share. We've been in business for almost 23 years now, and we get people that come in and say they've lived here their whole lives have never even heard of us <gasps> and i'm How? like i don't know they were eating at know. tracy's and saw us and i'm like yeah okay. well that's okay. good yeah Welcome. business come supporting in. business down there yeah yes. well i gotta tell you one of the things we're gonna start doing because we have people who walk into our office all the time and they do oh huh, never been here before <laughs> Look like, around and then walk out. And you're like, okay. I said, all right, thanks for I stopping. I hope you start just doing that to, to every business in town. Like, oh, I've never been here before. And you walk in. Like, yeah. just start doing that <laughs> like everywhere that's you your go. your opening line. Yeah. That would be perfect. That way you get to yeah. see every yep. little thing. Uh-huh. Just I mean, make why it not? a journey as Everyone's you go. prepared. They can oh, get the trolley in. here before. There just you have go. people walk in and say, I've never been here before. Uh-huh. Hop back on the bus, go to the next That's stop. That's just the whole tour. <laughs> you I have like three that seconds. concept. Yeah. yeah. You've got five seconds to get in and out. <laughs> you have one job. Just say that line and walk out. <laughs> so, okay, for those who haven't heard, because... Obviously, we're targeting, we're talking to people outside of Great Falls, so they probably haven't heard of you. Or maybe they have, and that's why they're coming, and that's part of why we're doing this podcast. Yeah. Uh, Candy Masterpiece has been downtown for more than two decades. Angie, how long have you been part of Candy Masterpiece? I am the founder. You are the founder of Candy Masterpiece. Okay. The brains behind the brilliance. Okay, so... 
Why candy? Why, why start a candy I, store? I've started, why not? Yeah. <laughs> it's a passion. Yes. I, my mother started teaching me how to make candy when I was a kid, and it became part of Christmas. Mm. Even when I was a teenager, we were making almond toffee crunch, which is Ooh. something that we sell inside the shop. Yeah, And so I went into retail, I went to school, studied art, and it all kind of ties in and is part of my world. And every day, I thank my mom because she mm. gave me a, a desire to be in a kitchen seeing this stuff and how much fun it is. Candy isn't just something that tastes good. It's, it's an experience. Mm. It really is. And if you're inside the candy shop, you're visiting people that work well together. It, it's family earned there. And you can tell that when you walk into the shop. It's a good vibe. There's lots of fun going on. 90% of the time we're all giggling, laughing. <laughs> hey, come on in. Yeah. Welcome. You know, and then we're back to being silly and having fun. So that's well, what it is. It's a comfort for people, too. And we definitely learned that during COVID. Yeah. It, mm. it was something that people, it was like a stress relief. Oh, yeah. Chocolate's well, always a Well, and a special relief. treat, you know, just that. Mm -hmm. You know, you, I classify candy as like your everyday candy. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Like the jar of sixlets that I have um, most certainly devoured in the back corner. That's like an everyday candy yeah. mm -hmm. that you can get anywhere. Yeah. Yes. And you're it's special. You're like, oh, a little treat. I got finally got that post done on the website. <laughs> you can go have yeah, a that's your reward. Sixlet. I deserve this. Yes. <laughs> but then you've mm. got those. Oh, you finished the website. <laughs> Special <laughs> occasion candies mm -hmm. that really are savored. It's the kind that you're not necessarily going to eat on every day. Well, well you I could. shouldn't say that. Yeah. You're not going to eat in one sitting. No. In uh, general. Well, you we want to savor. Ideal, <laughs> ideally, that would be the goal that I should have. Um, <laughs> But the artistic nature, and folks, we understand it's a podcast and you can't see what we see, but Ugh. Shannon will post we'll the post picture pictures, yeah. and you'll see the artistry that really does go into making mm -hmm. not just these candies that we're about to enjoy, but all of the candies that are there. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Because even if it is your everyday um, eat in a whole sitting candy like a sixlet, they have those there as well, artfully displayed so that you can immerse yourself in that. Yes. Why why such an engaging experience? Like cuz you could just go in and get a pre-made bag, but you allow people to make their own bags of candy. That's the fun in it though. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Everybody when you have things that are pre-made, they're buying those for gifts. But if they are coming in, they're sampling this and this and this and this and trying everything in the shop and making that like a goal to try everything <laughs> in the shop. Good luck, a, by the way. Goal. There's a yeah. lot there. So, but it's interesting. People do really enjoy just coming in. I want two sweetest fish, and I want some English toffee caramels, and I want some licorice. <laughs> it's and personalized. It goes, yeah. Yes, absolutely, and it makes it your own, your own Mixed. experience mm -hmm. stuff yeah. in in the shop. And you just have fun doing it. And you yeah. can pick out the things you want without buying a bag of candy and picking out, like, <laughs> the almond pieces. joys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want those or you don't want the special darks or whatever. Yeah. yeah. This gives you the opportunity to choose exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. And get brave and try something new sometimes, yeah. too. Yeah. So how much candy is, how many different Ooh. candies are in the store? Um, it depends, like jarred candy and basket candy. There's like, what, 2 to 225 yes. different kinds. Wow. Fudge, we have over 300 recipes. Oh, my gosh. Truffles, I actually don't know. We probably have about. <laughs> I, I think we have Just close make it to uh, <laughs> 8,000. <000. Yeah. laughs> no, not quite that big. Come on. Uh, no, we have about 120 recipes for truffles that we've tried over the years. I issue challenges to my employees all the time at the beginning of the year i need we need to figure out some new recipes we need to figure out what we're going to do for next year we want to try new flavors new mixes 
new things yeah. all the time. That keeps the interest going, and it makes it more fun for us. It doesn't get mundane. My favorite, ever. Uh, my favorite is you remember two years ago I was like, we got to make a birthday cake truffle, and you <gasps> said, hell no, <laughs> and I said yes. I'm telling you, I oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Sounds, okay, and she was like, no, it's too basic. It's too basic, oh. and I was like, I get that, but we just got to try it. And she was shocked at the people. <laughs> they loved I it. I was. I was. I still think it's just eh, basic. Mess. It's just yeah. white it's chocolate. Ju- yeah, it's and, just white and chocolate. Birthday cake flavor. But then but then it's just so fun to see the reaction of like this one right here. Uh-huh. Um, that's buttered waffle. That sounds <gasps> funky, right? And sounds people great. are always like, that sounds so weird. I'm like, that is my favorite. You have to try it. Oh, it sounds good. It sounds it's just like the things that we all think of together is just so it's just fun. Yes. I love brainstorming Very it all because creative. because things that we think will be like, oh my gosh, people are going to love that, and then they don't, and then things <laughs> that we're like, no one's going to like that, but we're going to try it anyway, and then yeah. they love it. Yeah, and it's just huh. you, you never know never what tell. to expect. You never know. I remember <laughs> when I was in there, um, I was in Candy Masterpiece back for World Chocolate Day, mm-hmm. getting some footage of you guys and making. You were doing it was I think a Merlot, like a chocolate merlot or merlot was it a red wine one yeah 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 Yeah. so that was good you let me sample that that was yummy it had like a tartness to it sort Mm -hmm. of yeah it was good yes i enjoyed that we we do our level best to try and create something that when you bite into it there is a flavor there that you can tell what it is Mm. you you get candy from some places uh, some taffy, mm-hmm. and, and you'll bite into a red one, and you'll go, "Is that strawberry or is that cinnamon?" Well, or it's more what like is that? artificial flavor <laughs> tasting right. than yeah. actual flavor. Well, right. yeah. I remember. Um, I think Sarah had brought it in. I'm not sure where she got the candy, and it was chocolates. And mm-hmm. we were trying them, and we're sitting there thinking, "What is this?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I didn't That's know it, what right it was, there. and it and it was like you're sitting there trying to think. But at the same time, the brain is really weird. Mm. And um, I had the girls try those uh, f- freeze-dried frogs. And mm-hmm. they're peach flavor, but they're green. So everyone was like, it's green apple. It's clearly green apple. And I was oh. like, no, it's peach. And then they were like, you're right. But because the color it's of green. them. Yeah. So a lot of it has to do with your mind, what, it, what you're looking at, too. Yeah. So. Ooh, tricky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you say you're sampling this food that you're testing. <laughs> what does your gym routine look like in order to not have I've to? I've never roll heard that word. Can you explain? Out? <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you not roll each other out the back door every night? Because yeah. I would not have that kind of self control. No, I wouldn't either. Personally, I have health issues where I have to be very careful about what I eat, okay. so I don't eat sweets very often. <laughs> So I have to be very careful. So that's mm-hmm. what I do. Well, but of good course. job. Yeah. Well, no, I have to. Great job on your health issue. Yeah, great job. <laughs> Thanks. I was born with it. <laughs> you were born to do this job. I met a woman who was allergic to caffeine, so she couldn't have chocolate. So I just mm-hmm. looked at her and I met her in high school and I'm like, life must, must be horrible for you. <laughs> yeah, right, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Detrimental. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we get people in that'll be like, I can't have any lactose. What can I have? And then we're like, "Um, water. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Not the place. Yeah. Yeah. You also have uh, chocolate covered interesting things like crickets. Bugs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Scorpions, crickets, ants, mealworms. (laughs) Wait, is this done in house? Because if that's touching my fudge, thank you. (laughs) No. Only when only when you specifically come in for the fudge do we make sure there's bugs in it. (laughs) (laughs) They see you coming. Walk in the door. Okay, get a make it up into a powder and put it in. No, actually when they make those bugs, they have it's really, really, really federally, yeah, watched over maintained. and maintained. They, they watch everything that those bugs eat. Yep. But it is also my requirement if you do come work for me, you, you do have, have to, try, to try them. Yeah. And once you get past the legs, it's not so bad. Yeah, until so, the legs know, get stuck <laughs> in your retainer. <laughs> mm, yeah. I uh, tried, uh, again, back in my TV days, it was one from Roadhouse Diner. They were doing, it was at, on Halloween, they were doing you know, like chili powder crickets or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I tried one of those on air. So it didn't even have the delightful (laughs) cover of chocolate to it. Uh, 
it wasn't bad. But yeah, I was like, is that like a, 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 a tentacle? That's yeah, stuck I have in retainers my glued to yeah. my, the back of my teeth and uh, I got oh, a yeah, cricket leg stuck mm. in that. And that was, <laughs> had to wait to get home to get my special flossers. Oh my gosh, so you was, just have cricket leg in you all day. Oh yeah, I love yeah. that. <laughs> They're really not that bad though. No. They don't really taste like anything no. more than an almond. See, and if you want some like additional like protein in your chocolate or whatever, just throw. And so many countries already cricket. eat them anyway. Yeah. So yes, it is really part of their regimen to get protein. Yeah. So all you international travelers, yeah, there you go. We got your bugs right downtown, <laughs> chocolate covered. Yes, what we even you? have like ranch ones. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> bugs are not my thing. Um, <laughs> but uh, people who've met me know that. Um, <laughs> what other? We've talked about your truffles. We've talked about your fudge. We've talked about uh, the jars of candy. What are other custom-made candies that are in the store? We do a snapper, which is a Rice Krispie treat layered with caramel, dipped in chocolate, decorated for the holidays, and yum, yummy. Yeah, I've had those. They are, it's a standard in-house, and I am calling at the beginning of November, reminding the people that buy loads of these (laughs) so that we have our orders ahead of time, because one of my worst things is seeing people that come in like the 23rd of December and there are no more snappers because mm-hmm. yeah we do know, warn people though yeah we, 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 like the, the two weeks before Christmas we're, they're like mm, I'll come back I'm like mm, probably mm. not <laughs> no <laughs> that's not gonna <laughs> work for you now. it yeah. might not be here yeah, yeah. It, wow. that's the hard part it candy making is not something like you can fill a donut case by the next morning Candy making takes a lot of time. And that's the part that people don't understand. It is an artistry. It takes time to set. It takes time to temper to temper and do all of that good stuff so that you have a pretty tasty product. And so you can't just fill a chocolate case no. by morning. And every year, every year for Christmas, at least twice a day someone will be like okay well I'll come back tomorrow because you'll have the cases filled right and i'm like no like, that's no. not how this no works. you don't understand <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no 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 yeah this isn't your generic yeah. big name company that's yeah. wrapping them and not, so yeah then let me uh two part this one <laughs> okay i believe ugly candy is still delicious candy um Name i one. agree <laughs> with you it just doesn't sell as well <laughs> okay so that was my first question my second question is when it takes so much time and artistry and perfection to this craft one of the things we notice is the price of the Absolutely. beautiful gift that we are either going to give ourselves or to <laughs> other people so talk to us about the quality of the ingredients the mm-hmm. time it takes to do that and why you're paying more than 50 cents mm-hmm. for a candy bar <laughs> chocolate has grown in price point exponentially in the past few years Mm. they were close to having a blight with chocolate there were some problems with some of the fields and so chocolate started rising anyway and the process of you know getting it melted making the ganache rolling it hand rolling each one and weighing, weighing them and weighing them so that oh everything is the same price because mm. otherwise you know you're too expensive here and somebody's not getting the value there and so everything has to be precise and worked out and so it is it has labor and good quality ingredients i during covid we had a problem getting a hold of guitar chocolate which is the chocolate that we use to make our fine chocolates and they had a problem with a fire in one of their production facilities oh my which was oh my heart just sunk and I'm like yeah I need to make chocolate and we tried <laughs> other things and I found one that tasted pretty close to it but the consistency was so hard hmm. we had to learn how to re do all of this because huh. it didn't act the way, the, way. the chocolate we worked with it was works. so much softer it oh. was and I don't even know how to explain that without like you would take the ganache and you roll it in your hands and it would be so kind of goopy almost because you couldn't mm-hmm. shape it properly oh. and it wouldn't stay as 
firm as the chocolate we're used to. Hmm. Right. And wow. even <laughs> in dipping, it, it would be thin or it wouldn't get that nice, crisp snap mm. that chocolates do. There is that yeah. bite and yeah. we couldn't get it to go yeah. and huh. so we're you know we're it's just wow. been a process we learn every day that's one thing yeah. it's never dull in there <laughs> I work with people that make me laugh every day mm. and there are challenges every single day you just you learn to think outside the box and figure it out yeah. you just get it done huh so you're not filling the cases every day, which means you're making like the truffles in one fell swoop. How many truffles comes in a a batch? A hundred and forty four per slab. That's yes. And and um, every time Sarah makes ganache, she might get so it's about three slabs. So okay. And then it is frozen wow. because okay. we can't. It it, yeah. it it there's no way chocolate companies all over the world have to do this in order to keep up with it there's mm -hmm. just no way and it gives us an opportunity to get it rolled get it out there get it fresh and we, have multiple flavors and mm. multiple flavors we could do probably three or four you know having it just made that day and we'd have you know maybe a hundred of mm. each kind but that would be it and Companies all over the world have to do it that way. Do you have a routine on what candies you make on what day? Absolutely. Oh. Friday is taffy day. Mm. That is a day we're always making some, so. the motion, people coming in. I, one of my favorite things <laughs> is watching sport. people. Yeah, yeah. It, that's uh -huh. exactly what it is. They start watching that taffy puller, and pretty soon their jaw drops. <laughs> And they tilt like their mesmerized. head. They're having a Forrest Gump movement watching. <laughs> it's hypnotizing. Uh, yeah. It is, very much so. And so it's just fun to watch people when we're making stuff because they just start chattering about it. It's hmm. great. So tell us the dirty secrets of the uh, taffy machine for all of our <laughs> listeners. Um, <laughs> this is a delicate, delicate machine that mm -hmm. they have on display that you can see. But it's about a hundred years old, almost. <gasps> I think. Yes. Oh my gosh! Really? <laughs> yeah. They <laughs> tell them how you out. found it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when I went looking for a taffy puller, I they weren't manufacturing them, and so I had to try and find something and. An electric guy at Cascade Electric here mm -hmm. in town told me there's a machine shop in Texas. Give him a call. You never know. And so I had to explain <laughs> that, what the movement was of the machine and how it worked and kind of what it looked like. And he said, yeah, I got one. Shipped it up. And it, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Find of the century, man. It was awesome. Wow. But when we had the machinist take a look at it to make sure everything was functioning properly. He said, I'll bet you this was made long before World War II. Oh, my oh gosh. My. And so we're like, wow. <laughs> yeah. You know, but it's sturdy and it still works. We've, you know, you have to replace motors and things like that, but it still works great and it's awesome. Do you have the taffy machine mechanic guy that you call and he's one <laughs> of the services? Oh, yes. Mm. We love Jeff Dion. <laughs> Jeff Dion is... The guy. Yeah, he's a hoot. Yeah, yeah, he's, a hoot. he's a really great guy. He is... He fixes all of our machines, our temperers, our fudge kettles, the, the uh, taffy puller. He is constantly coming and helping he he's just amazing i love him mm. he's a great guy integral part of the candy making process uh, yes there. you must yeah. make friends mm -hmm. always <laughs> well, find people you that... have so many electrical components mm. in the heating and the elements of making all of this i'm no candy making expert as we've already discussed <laughs> but i'll make stuff at home and just the slightest small things like burning chocolate that that <laughs> sucks yeah it uh -huh. does yeah it does yeah. it if things are not working properly it's not just the time it's the product and it gets very expensive quickly so we do our best to try and maintain that ahead of time i'm yeah. one of those that you know plan forward mm. and not deal with as many problems you know so mm. that's what we do mm. But you're right. There's a lot that can go wrong real quick. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I, my husband, love him dearly, made cookies for the first time. Oh, awesome. And it was <laughs> so much fun to watch, except <laughs> the recipe called for mar- er, butter. I didn't have any butter. And I'm like, oh, we've got this margarine substitute thing. Whew. Nasty. And I felt awful because I was like, <laughs> oh, this will work. First and I, he puts it in and they were super not the right consistency. <laughs> But we bake them up anyway, and they tasted awful. And he's like, God, these are disgusting. And I said, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry I led you down the path of this substitute margarine <laughs> thing. But those, you can't just substitute stuff sometimes. Mm, You've no. got to be you, a little more patient. You also mm-hmm. have to know the principles of some of those things. Uh, we're There's very fortunate. There's a lot of science well, involved. Uh, big time. Yeah. And I have an employee, Sarah, who is her brain is just wired to find out all of those little nitpicky nuance scientific things. And I love her for it. Thank you, Sarah. And it is amazing how many things can be affected. Humidity, the amount of people in the shop, the heat of the shop, the sun's coming through the window, air movement, all of these things create issues. Which is part of the reason I don't make divinity anymore. Oh. It was <laughs> it, in an hour, I would get a pound and a half, and that might be the third attempt at getting it to work because it's so finicky. Oh, wow. And so there are places that can make that and do that very well, but I just, that's not, not my you. forte. No, <laughs> I'm do you just ever tell people, it. like, there's too many people in the store right now, we can't have their hot breath? <laughs> get out. Here right now. Get out. Like, <laughs> Are there any candies that only come out at certain times of the year? Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Absolutely. Divulge. Chocolate oranges. Chocolate okay. oranges. Oh. Um, it depends on our flavors. Um, we have certain, like, for Christmas or for Valentine's Day, certain flavors of truffles or fudge. The snappers? Um, taffy. Are those only Christmas? No. no. Oh. We those just decorate them for oh, okay. the different holidays. Gotcha. Those are too popular. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, year round. One thing, like chocolate covered cherries, we sell those all year, all year round. Um, but people are always shocked when they first come in because they're like, aren't these just a Christmas thing? I'm like, no. <laughs> all year, all year. But there are things like pumpkin caramels and mm. um, some of the christmas mallows which are like candy corn but shaped in a toy chest fashion so it's it's just mallow creams with cherry and lime and vanilla yeah Mm. all those great flavors and each holiday has different things Mm. and those wonderful customers that have been with us since we started will come in like three weeks ahead before the <laughs> shipment comes. Is it coming yet? Is it here yet? <laughs> it's coming. I promise. It's super coming. fans. My wow. favorite right now is we've been getting our Christmas in mm-hmm. and setting it up. And we got these little shot glasses that are made of um, candy canes. Oh, and I peppermint was like, oh, canes. Yep. Yeah. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, find me some hot cocoa. Yeah. Let's go. Ooh. Hot cocoa. <laughs> A little bit of peppermint <laughs> schnapps. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, One of not... my favorite Christmas ones is the chocolate covered pretzels, which I know mm. are really basic and simple. Those are, good, though. Those are really popular though. Mm-hmm. But they've the Christmas star ones always have little uh, droplets, non perials, yeah, like oh. these things, but they're white. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. What yeah. did you call them? Non perials. They have and different I'm... pronunciations. Okay, though. Some I, people call I'm them probably... non-perials, non. Perrier, I, French, wow. I, I, who knows? Or they drops. are just <laughs> their little white balls, yeah. little uh, tiny little droplets. Little shiny uh-huh. decor, yeah. <laughs> Sprinkles. Yep. Yeah. And one of the things you don't do is sugar cookies. Because we can't bake. We oh. don't bake. We do not have an oven or a hood system that we can do that. Mm. The city gets really <laughs> upset if you're baking and you don't have a hood. Uh, pretty so, particular you know, we about that. <laughs> yeah, very. Uh-huh. So, but so I, no baking. No just baking. Melting. Just yes. melting. <laughs> yeah. Melting, chewy, yummy. Mm. That's what we work on. And, you know, it, I've had a lot of people ask if, you know, we would make brownies and we would make sugar cookies and put some of our uni- unique things on them. But we're going to stay specialized, you know, and time is a thing. 
I'm going to tell you, particularly in the next three and a half months, yeah. time is precious. And we just don't have enough time. time and, mm -hmm. you know, enough help. You have to be trained to get able to do it. So that's just not something we're going to do. Well, and really, you don't have to because you've got your balls, you've got your fudge, <laughs> <laughs> you've got your pretzels, uh -huh. you've got your uh, shot glasses. Uh, <laughs> plus, there's already so many places in town that make baked goods. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, you know, we're the only ones options. in town that make specialty candy, and we yeah. want to stick to that and yeah. yes, be proud of it. Yep. So what was the what was the training process for you, Katie? Uh, she you threw me in and board. said, just learn. Okay. <laughs> Figure it out or you're getting kicked out the back yeah. door. I mean, it was, uh, you know, Angie, Sarah, and I are the only people in the shop that know how to dip. Uh -huh. um, we haven't really trained anyone else, mostly because it's easier to stick one person to start dipping and have them do that all day and have other people doing other stuff than instead of like switching it up all the time. Um, and because it is such a finicky process, chocolate is temperamental. Mm. Um, you have to have it at the perfect temperature. Um, so like when you buy chocolate chips, you know how they're kind of foggy? Yeah. yeah. They aren't tempered. That's okay. just straight up chocolate. These chocolates that we brought in, they're shiny. Yep. And, they're so, yeah. and they're pretty. So we put that chocolate at a very special temperature and every chocolate's different oh. and it can vary. Um, and so we have to make sure that chocolate is like that. Otherwise it can get foggy and hmm. kind of looks still smoky. tastes good. Still just tastes right. good. Not just, pretty at all. Just you have to have the fat molecules line up perfectly um, when you bite into it and it has that snap. Wow. I had no idea that's what the difference was yeah. <laughs> so, you know with chocolate chips versus the, mm -hmm. it, yeah didn't even think about that part mm -hmm. I grew up in an old school home and we would make um like peanut we call them peanut butter balls like mm -hmm. Buckeyes type thing there we go yep um and the original dip which there was no training involved <laughs> in my dipping <laughs> experience either but it was um, like chocolate chips with paraffin wax. Ooh, yum. Ooh. And then you st you froze the ball, stuck it with a toothpick, over the double boiler. Yep. As the steam's coming out and burning your hands, you dip it in <laughs> as quick melting. as you can, get it out, tap it off as much as you can before it starts to slip off the toothpick, put it down on the parchment <laughs> paper, twist the toothpick out of the ball, and then... At the end, you dollop the tops to cover up the, the toothpick tooth hole. <laughs> it is an art form that you really there, have to oh practice. Yeah. There's, they there's look hand hideous. Movements. There's special oh. hand movements. So if you look at these in particular, you can kind of see it on this one. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of, we call it a rosette. Um, we have a dipping time that's kind of a swirled. A circular motion oh. that makes so, a basket. So mm. when I dip, I especially because dark chocolate's a lot thicker than milk chocolate, I have to know exactly how much chocolate to get off of there, uh, when to put it on the thing, and then to swirl it. So oh. it's a special, it's you know, just movement, hand movement with your hands. Yeah. Did you make these? Probably most okay. of them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She we initials the bottom of yeah. the, each one yeah. she makes. It's like a piece of pottery. I lick, I lick yeah. every single one of them. <laughs> Uh, no, like, no. Uh, that wasn't uh -oh. part of that was a training. joke. Yeah. It was a joke, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> they follow a lot of yeah. um, proper handling. Yes, instructions. we follow all guidelines around oh, yeah. here. Thank you. So what? Uh, what do we? What did? So there's how many? One, two, three, twelve. Twelve. Okay. How? What? Uh, what are our flavors here that you brought in? Um. So this one's cranberry orange. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, wow. In milk chocolate, okay. and I believe the inside is white chocolate. No, it's not. No, it's I think that's a chocolate. Okay, and then we've right. got um, this one, which is an orange almond, oh. and oh. it's in dark chocolate. Um, the double milk, this one, and mm. I double dark here. These are super popular just because they're basic flavors. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. No. Um, the Mayan, which is one of my personal favorites, has a little bit of um, chili powder and cinnamon Ooh. in dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. And we'll then leave that for Rebecca. <laughs> we've <laughs> talked about the golden waffle, the yeah. buttered waffle. Yeah, again, that <laughs> one's my favorite. That one's in milk, yeah. delicious. Um, coffee cardamom, and this one actually has Ooh. a mocha bean on top. Um, oh. These are super popular as well. If you love coffee, you're gonna I, love this i've been getting into like cardamom more it's really good flavor like it's in my coffee and stuff so i'm intrigued if you yeah. go to 2j's they have quite a few different varieties oh too. really okay yes. i'll have to check that out and so that's where i 
usually get it. Yeah, so. it, it's a wonderful flavor. It's something that enhances flavor. It doesn't overpower. It just mm -hmm. makes things taste richer. And mm -hmm. it will back down on bitterness, say, with coffee. Oh, yeah. So it becomes very smooth That's probably and very why I rich. Like it too. Huh? Yeah. yeah, it's it's lovely. That's yeah. one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. It's good. Um, then we have a milk chocolate banana one. I do. Like, she uses real banana powder in that one, so oh. that one's super good. So I it's love like that one. actual. It's not like the fake banana, flavor. which is like interesting real, because yeah. my grandma, she was born in 1926. She specifically remembers that that's how bananas used to taste. That fake banana uh -huh. before that, before that banana breed died. She said that's exactly what they tasted like. Oh, interesting. Huh. I was like, I find that really interesting. It, it, yeah. it is. There was a banana blight, and it wiped out the entire species of that oh yes gosh, that one really? specific kind and that's where we get you know the taffy flavor yeah. banana and so this is a little bit different and wow. i think they're cavendish now yes and i think, I think they're dying the current one we have now is i think dying out as well uh -oh. yes yeah. So, okay. so this bananas is a, might have a new flavor soon. A rare, okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the things you never knew. No. Yeah. Um, and then this one is a dark chocolate vanilla. Okay. Super basic, mm. super yummy. Yeah. Again, that's the dark, double dark. Um, this one is a butterscotch sea salt dipped in Ooh. milk chocolate. Um, we have another coffee one here. It's dark chocolate Kahlua. Mm. Oh. And then we have a dark chocolate and peppermint. Ooh. So, yum. Yeah. Yum. Yes. So oh is there a test? Like... You have over 300 <laughs> recipes of truffles, and you were able to name 12, which is fairly impressive, but yeah. how do you keep them straight? Yeah. Um, all of them have different signatures. I like this one, the non perials the white balls, but they're in different <laughs> colors. Uh, so we have the orange and um, cranberry so colored by ones. color on there? Yeah. So hmm. each one has a different signature. So if a dark chocolate one has an orange stripe on it, I'm going to know that's a Mayan. Um, the coffee cardamom is pretty easy because it has the mocha bean on top. Um, but the yellow non perials makes it so I know that's banana. banana. Huh. Um, so they just all have different signatures and we make them up. Yep. Yeah. As so, we go. Companies long ago, each company has their own signatures. Normally caramels are square. Truffle balls are round. ball <laughs> form. And then creams are normally round and flat. Okay. And so there are shape basic portions but every company puts their own signatures on it and long ago the, rather than using a piping bag which is what we do to get the signatures on there people would use their fingers and they would huh. dip their fingers into oh. the bot the vat of chocolate and they would take their hands and they'd move them and be able like to sign it. five chocolates in a row with a single hand movement they were extremely gifted at this i've tried it before <laughs> Yeah, it just to looked like I was to the health department. That. We don't do yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, thank their health department for mm -hmm. that. Yes, Ruined you didn't have to skill. master that skill. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yes, but. Wow. Is so, there continuing education you guys go to, like some candy makers college, um, <laughs> or is it all just passed down? You know, person down, to really. person, generation to generation. Absolutely, wow. we're always. It's interesting because all of my employees love what they do. They all take their own initiatives, mm. every last one of them, to find new things and find new information. Mm. And they're constantly bringing in new stuff, you know, even into the shop oh, on yeah. their own. The they, internet. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, TikTok. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like yeah. with this one in specific, okay, you're going to love the name of this one. It's okay. called a nipple of Venus. <laughs> <laughs> That's the chocolate peppermint. That's the dot on top. Oh, the specific dot the, is called the signature. The yeah, and so Venus when we nipple. first started, <laughs> okay, <laughs> when we first started doing that, Sarah had made this like device to dip in the chocolate and then to put the dot on top, and I never knew she had done that. And so when I started dipping them and had to do the signatures on some with the nipple of Venus, <laughs> I was wearing a glove and I just dipped my finger in it. Yeah. And they came in the work the next day, and they were like, how did you do this? And I was like, <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. I was like, I used my finger. Yeah. <laughs> I, had a, I had a glove With on. A glove. Yeah. I used my finger. Yeah. And they were like, wait. So we didn't have to make this fancy <laughs> device. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. But like everyone, like our minds all work so differently. Mm -hmm. So it just, it's 
it's we all have something else that we can bring to the table and be like, well, what if we do it this way or what if we do it that way? Absolutely. Do you have some like specific question you ask in the interview process that like enlightens yeah. you to their abilities? Because yeah. I'm not going to be able to fake it. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> so same I take with like craft finger, cocktails, I... <laughs> like people who can come up with a drink with all these elements mm-hmm. that tastes like you would want it like Like n-bar it blows my mind the flavors they think of you're doing the same thing Mm -hmm. like you're putting things together and people are gonna put it in their mouth they're gonna go "Mm, (laughs) that's not gonna happen if i try it (laughs) like so what are you asking people i mean it's the same as cooking would you put cumin with turmeric or yeah like i have no idea i don't know i don't know (laughs) maybe people do my boyfriend's the one that cooks (laughs) um but it's the same thing you have to think like um what was the witch's brew I thought of last year? Maple and hazelnut. Yes, and that oh, was that yummy. And it was delicious. And it's just something you have to try. You got to play around with it. Yeah. And it's easier to play around actually with fudge um, because Sarah's got all the flavors. She's got the fudge, and hmm. it's easier for her to actually test things out in fudge first. So, in can a you... six pound device rather than 144 44. truffles yeah. that might not work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you, Sarah. So, if you can make it in a fudge, you can figure out how to adapt it into a truffle. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh. And we have also figured out ways where we can do smaller versions rather than a six pan, six pound pan of fudge. We can we can figure out how to do it just to taste it and then do the math and increase it up to the poundage. We're, we're getting that efficient at it Mm. that we can do those things. Thank you, Sarah. Yes. (laughs) Um, But the thing is, it it is also something that you learn. You, when you are passionate about something and you really enjoy what you do, you want to, to experiment you want to increase that you're having fun doing that and you start to learn that on your own i didn't know about flavors really i mean it was you know cherry and basic flavors you know you you work into it and you teach yourself well you have to think though too i mean we've got like 220 different bulk candies right every time we get something new and we have to taste it and figure out like Mm. is this good and when you taste that many flavors, your tongue kind of adapts to like, oh, I think these would be good together. Like we have a oh. coconut curry cashew that we sell. Oh, so good. And that sounds, that sounds funky. It sounds good. It's very though. popular. It's very yeah. good. If I wasn't allergic to turmeric, I would be eating those every day. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> they are good. Yeah. Well, that sounds really good. Yum. Um, is there a, you know, like uh, Tracy at the Blue Rose, she goes to market and then she finds all these new clothes is there a market you guys go to to find new suppliers or look at new trends? The internet. Or, <laughs> <laughs> no, they do have candy shows, and I have not been able to go. I have representatives from my distributors that do that, and they are hyper vocal about telling oh, me nice. what's going on and helping me figure out. I. That's one of my goals is one time to get to one of those and just sit and watch some of these folks wow. with some of their new ideas. But it just hasn't worked. And so we just hop on whatever we can, the Internet and books and, but you But the know, fact whatever. that you have distributors that are, because, I mean, at what point do you, <laughs> where you're like coconut curry, whatever it was, and you're like, yeah, let's let's carry that in the shop because that's weird. That's right. not something mm. you're gonna run you're into gonna, Smiths or IGA or Walmart. You're yeah. really gonna want to taste that before you order like 300 pounds of that to we sell. Well, we don't order that much <laughs> at a time. <laughs> no, I wish we no, could sell that. We, we do not have the room no. for that. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, the, space becomes an issue. And it's in a the risk shop. when it comes to bulk candy. It's like, okay, we're gonna order 10 pounds, see what happens. Yeah. Okay. And mm. I do that frequently and. It also depends, just like vehicles, right? There are levels of gummies. I'm just going to tell you that, okay? (laughs) The Ferrari of gummies. The Ferrari of gummies is Albanese. I'm just going to say it now. (laughs) They they are so good. They are amazing. And Haribo. And, you know, and there's there's a whole plethora of companies that make Mm. all of this stuff. And so you pick and choose and you try, well, that didn't work. It was worth the shot. You know, yeah. give them something new. Let's bring something else in. And that is constantly rotating. Mm. Constantly. Especially so. with gummies. We have the weirdest things. We've got like chicken feet. Uh, <laughs> Gummy teeth. Teeth. Uh, like they're shaped like that? Yeah. Or no, no, no so they, they don't taste like, like that at all. Go. <laughs> <laughs> and then we... 
and then, extract the like, calcium and they become <laughs> gummified. Well, you know, but. there's actually crickets and scorpions, <laughs> so oh, I don't think we're legally allowed you. to sell actual human Bye. remains. Bye. Thank goodness. They, yeah, well, yeah. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. Also, shouldn't have to be a rule for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Should? no, there shouldn't. Again, thank you, health department. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you gotten any weird requests? Do you take personal requests or personal all the orders? Time. Yeah, we do get some things. People want us all the time to have ice cream in the shop, which would be great. Space <laughs> is a factor mm-hmm. and time is precious. Um, but every now and then people would say, you know, can you dip kiwi? Well, yeah, we can, but it is going to only last for about an hour because there's so much juice oh. in a kiwi mm-hmm. that it just softens up the chocolate. And so, yeah, there are things people come in and request, but sometimes it's just not feasible. Do they come in with like special flavors and say, hey, can you figure out how to make this as a truffle for my husband's 50th birthday well with truffles in specific uh we would have to make so much of it Mm. they would either have to buy Buy, all like like 600 truffles that we're gonna make or the 140 yeah well we can do it now in just the one slab but But it's still a lot of truffles it it is and that's part of the reason that we don't Mm -hmm. we kind of do the creativity on our own to provide options Mm -hmm. for people and there is a thing called dmd in our shop decision making disorder because (laughs) you walk into my shop and there's colors everywhere Uh and there's jars and baskets and corners and knickknack everywhere and people do get overwhelmed you get a deer in the headlight look look where they're like i don't know what i'm hungry for what (laughs) they freeze but it you see so many people that just kind of just don't know what to do. Just try one thing. Just one thing. Just turn around and point and try one thing and see how it works. Mm-hmm. And then that starts to alleviate. But it it truly is a thing. We have people every single day. Oh, yeah. It's got to be hard. I, yeah. You know, I'll go in to buy fudge and like you buy the half pound or the pound and you get so many flavors or mm-hmm. so many, I'm going to call them slivers. <laughs> quarter uh-huh. pounds yes um so you you have to pick your flavors and it's like oh no oh yeah there's 30 flavors and i can and only fit this amazing. many yeah. in a box i can't buy 20 pounds of fudge <laughs> and take it home i mean <laughs> it freezes you well could. yeah it does freeze well you'll be fine note for the holidays yes. the good mm-hmm. news is we aren't going anywhere so you can always <laughs> come, come back, back. Yeah. and there's just make it a habit once yeah a week. just yeah. try something new every time and it, it just works mm-hmm. so are you gonna sleep at all between now and december 25th yeah <laughs> <laughs> We're allowed one hour a week. Yes, okay. <laughs> one hour a week. No, this is the time I've been kind of getting myself energized and <laughs> taking very good care of myself because yeah. I go into 12 to 16 hour days. Shout oh, out gosh. to rock stars. They've yeah. been a, <laughs> yeah, they do help a <laughs> lifesaver. Yeah. Um, no, it. by the end of the season, we are all exhausted. It is just... It's a lot, you know, it's but it's it's a ton. In a month and a half, we do like four months worth of business. Oh my gosh! Wow. Which is wow. But every year is, gets more and more, and the thing that's getting difficult is what to expect. Mm. Yeah, we mm-hmm. know it's going to be busy, but is it going to be busy? How busy is it going to be to the point everyone shoulder to shoulder in the store? Mm-hmm. And at that point, it's like. <laughs> We only have so many employees. Sure. Yeah. You have to keep eyes out. You've got to keep making stuff. You've got to multitask. Yeah. Yeah. Multitasking oh is gosh. a thing. And the other thing that becomes interesting is because it is a candy shop, you've got to keep that energy level up. Yeah. Right. You know, if you're you can't sitting be there like, all no. morose yeah. and, you know, I'm <laughs> having a bad yeah. day. People Tell are me about your fudge. Attitudes right. are contagious. Uh, yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so let's be positive. And, uh, you know, when you're exhausted, that does kind of become a thing. But yeah. 
we all work really hard at it. And if <laughs> the good news is, is because we know each other so well. <laughs> you can see when somebody. Uh, like, yeah, Ugh. you need to go yeah. into the corner over there and <laughs> sit. You're in timeout. Yeah. You're in timeout. <laughs> You've got 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, go away. Yeah. And the rest of us kind of, and we do that motion where we're covering for each other and mm -hmm. helping each other out, which is great. Yeah. So uh, what are the candies that you're making specific to the holiday season, if any? Uh, certain flavors of fudge, like eggnog, uh, oh. hot chocolate, uh, mm. just peppermint in general. Um, cranberry nut. Cranberry oh. nut. Uh, yeah. Frozen vanilla. She made uh, a new one, too. It was a French vanilla, I think, with Frozen mint. French vanilla, yeah. yes. And we only make those at this time of year. Mm -hmm. And the chocolate orange, was that one that was? She'll make that every once oh, in a okay. while, but that is one that m is more towards Christmas. Okay. Yeah. So my big question, do you ship? Absolutely. So someone can oh, call in and say, hey, I want your frozen French vanilla fudge. 30 pounds ship it <laughs> straight well, it's away mostly for april through october because if it's above like 70 or 75 degrees either here or to at the location it's going to that chocolate's gonna be soup by the time mm, it gets there yeah and so we will not ship if it's gonna be but for christmas for the most part oh yeah you're good to go we got Pretty lots much anywhere yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a lot that's a lot of things to juggle <laughs> and a lot of things to think about and play with do I, you yeah. have uh have you thought have you considered and special VIP shopping hours where you pay an oh. extra ticket to get in either before or yeah. after the day so that yeah. you have kind of that more experience. relaxed shopping experience. Yeah. Um, no, <laughs> <laughs> I have it, but it, yeah. that's an interesting I am willing to yeah. buy that ticket if it ever mm -hmm. becomes available. <laughs> One of the things we're looking to do is do a flavor of the month and mm -hmm. be able to have a place where we're shipping them out at that time um it, w in montana that might be a little difficult with chocolate because you can't quite do that in the summer obviously mm -hmm. but you know we're trying to figure things like that out so that we can at least have something for you know maybe six months out of the year or mm -hmm. something that's one of the things that we're looking at well that would be fun mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do you have if you could go in and pick anything out of your shop to eat mm. both oh of boy you. what would you um, pick what's your there is a french silk truffle the mayan mm -hmm. and this uh orange almond one that i'm starting to purr around <laughs> um i have specific things mm -hmm. but it isn't very frequently that i just that sit down to, yeah, yeah and just eat one of those because i'm always trying particularly with Sarah, our fudge queen, um, <laughs> she's always got new recipes going. So, you know, you can only eat so much so yeah. that you don't get rolled out of the candy <laughs> shop. And, you know, you just got to pay attention to those things. And yeah. I would think you'd have to eat in small quantities. I yeah. heard one time, and I, the things I hear likely sometimes are just lies. Um, so <laughs> I fully own that. But I was, I heard one time that you're, your flavor palette, like the first bite or the first two bites are the best because then the rest doesn't like taste as good or they mm -hmm. become muted in their flavors. And so you really have to take kind of the small portion. Is that true or is that a lie? It is true. And <laughs> tasting chocolate is very similar to tasting wine or any forms of alcohol. One of the kind things of that it? you should, should do is Waft. swirl it and Smell it. have a rinse in between that mm. does a palate cleanse to help you. Anytime you are doing more and more and more, your flavors do dissipate a little bit. So mm. you... We have to prepare for that. There's and a reason, though, that our truffles are like two bites. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. You don't want them huge. You want them just that one mm -hmm. small taste. I have to remember that when yep. I want to eat all of the chocolate. Well, they're all time. different flavors. That, oh, no. that's true. So it's fine. It works. <laughs> it just it go from one to that's true. Yeah, good point. Yep. <laughs> I'm here to help you. Thank you. Thank you for helping me realize that. Yeah. <laughs> one of the things that we also do is learn that you try the vanilla type stuff first and then oh. like the coconut curry stuff last because that is the more powerful flavor oh. and so yeah, you kind of set it, it up oh. when we're making taffy we start out with vanilla vanilla caramel then we go to you know something that'll blend towards the next one so that oh. 
your palate doesn't, it has more flavor to it, but you aren't losing that due to massive amounts of tasting. Mm. Interesting. Uh, you guys are in the, the, the fun hundred block of yes. Central mm-hmm. Avenue downtown. Yes. You've been a staple there. What's that like being like just such a staple in downtown Great Falls? I am so grateful. Uh, our customers have been loyal. They're fun. They, I am just grateful for how many come and visit and are appreciative of what we do. Um, I love being on the 100 block. I, I have made great friends and we all work together and we've got new stuff coming too. I mean, there's, yeah. there's supposed to be new stuff on the end of our block and mm-hmm. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what else is coming. Uh, we're going to have a charcuterie board. There's a kid's room. There's a bar, I believe, and just but, gathering places. So yeah. it's going to be great. Have you done, I've seen in the past where you've done a lot of great partnerships like Absolutely. candy uh, companies, a flower delivery. and um, are Absolutely. You, you we used do to, that quite frequently. So you do that locally, but do you do that across the state as well? No, I have had people wanting me to wholesale. Time is uh, precious, mm. and I I cannot that's get there. That's a whole yeah. nother. Yeah, that's a whole nother Ooh, thing. We're trying world. to fill our own shop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh, no. I can't fill another. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. And but like my Viola downtown, Carrie and I have been working together for years. Brad at City Bar, mm-hmm. you have mentioned we've been doing business for years. There, there's just you figure it out and you make friends wherever you go and just see what you can do. Mm-hmm. So, so I think the big takeaway for our listeners um, is it's a small shop. There's only so much capacity to make candy. <laughs> right. Yes. Like there's only but that's so much you can do. And that's why you've got your high quality. You've yeah. got your the specialty, specialty areas. You've got the, the experience creativity when you walk in. behind all of the things you're going to experience so take the time don't yeah. rush through that experience mm-hmm. one of the funniest stories there ever was um we had our nieces and nephew here and my husband and i were entertaining them and i said well let's go to the flower shop and pick out some flowers and robert says to the the kids well that sounds stupid wouldn't it be more fun to go to the candy shop <laughs> <laughs> And I said, uh, agreed, you're leading this effort. Yeah. (laughs) So he's like, oh, I know why you wanted to go to the flower shop now. I'm like, yeah. So like $250 (laughs) later Uh and kids hyped up on candy that (laughs) now you're trying to tell them they can't eat because Mm. they've had too much. I'm like, who's the moron (laughs) now for asking (laughs) to go to the flower Uh shop, huh? (laughs) So know what you're getting into. Yeah. Yes. Um, Moderation is key yeah, uh-huh. right yes. there. Yeah. But it is that ex- it is so exciting. They walked in and they're like, oh, yeah. like <laughs> I'm getting this and putting it in my sack and getting uh-huh. all of this. And and it's just it's an experience. Mm-hmm. And I find more and more when people travel, they want to find a gift to take back to friends and family yeah. from the community. Well, this is perfect. Great Falls Made Candy is probably yeah, the absolutely. best option. And especially with out-of-staters is Huckleberry. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything uh, Huckleberry. Uh, absolutely. The, I will be the first to tell you, on public air, I cannot stand the Huckleberry. You're not the only one. No. It's not even None of you here. like Huckleberry? It is. It grows um, in the at a special elevation in the Rocky Mountains. Yeah, but not in Great Falls. It's not from no. Great Falls, no. but it's yeah. a Montana thing. Yeah. That, that I'll is stand a up for huckleberries. Huckleberry and chocolate's so good together. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I love that people love it. There we I go. <laughs> we you were <laughs> wow. talking about partnering. There is a new um, meat shop downtown. Mm-hmm. And Central, Central Avenue. Avenue Meats. Yes. Shout out. They're, su- they're super awesome guys. They came in and wanted to make some beef with chocolate. <gasps> and I was like, wow. Are you serious? What? They brought us back a taste of it and we all just floundered. It was a hamburger that had a chocolate huckleberry truffle with it. Uh, fudge. Fudge. It was the fudge. Oh. My bad. And it was. Amazing. Was we it all like just a ja- like a jam on top, or just like a. I think they just kind of. I think he put it inside actually, like, I, oh and my cooked gosh. it together. 
And so you have chocolate How huckleberry. creative, though. It, it was wow. fantastic. And they showed up at our door and wanted to do this. I'm like, thank you. Yeah. yeah. these They're just amazing. And so, yeah, it's part of the game. Wow. I would I would try it. I, would I try tried it. the I've had the peanut butter burger. I was just curious what that patty with some peanut butter on it because you got the chocolate and the peanut butter mix. Ooh, now that might be a thing too. Yum! You're making me You're hungry. Too much. Very <laughs> hungry. Yes. I think we've gone too far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a podcast, like, no, no, thanks. no, we're just getting started. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at, what are your okay? You work a lot of hours what are the store hours for the holiday season we are open tuesday through saturday and i know that that creates kind of a problem with some of our customers but we do need the time a couple to be days off <laughs> and, and to manufacture and mm. to do that i don't have enough employees to keep that open on those days yeah and so my apologies everybody but I this don't think what, you have anything to apologize for. <laughs> yeah. This is what we got to do to keep this yeah. rolling. So we are open Tuesday through Saturday, 9.30 to 5.30. Hey, that works just fine. Mm -hmm. uh, custom orders or want something sent, call, email. Absolutely. Website, what's, what's the process there? Phone calls are mainly the one. I keep track of the orders from years past and at this time of year I spend most of my days <laughs> on the phone calling those people you know kind of seeing mm. they want to continue want with more? it do yeah. this again and so we kind of have an idea then of the manufacturing we need to do as we're going along so the sooner you get in your orders the better mm. chance we're going to be able to fill that for you when it gets down to the nitty-gritty everybody always goes oh it's fresher then no. no, that's not how it works. <laughs> no. Um, order it early so that I can guarantee it and we can have happy, smiling customers. Because yeah. that uh, the 23rd and 24th, poor people, they, they're like, what do you mean you're out of chocolate? It was a busier year than yeah, we but procrastination. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. you know, so or thinking that it's going to be, you need to get it fresh. Yeah, yeah, it is Close. fresh. Yeah, it is fresh, but it's not going to be any fresher. It's not any better to no. wait till the twenty third or twenty no, fourth. Okay, it won't help you. And so please, <laughs> please call early. Yeah, come see us. We'll be happy to get this figured out for you. Mm -hmm. Outside of Christmas or any time of year, um, in the history of Candy Masterpiece, what is the craziest request you've ever gotten? <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, stumped me right there. Oh. Um, oh. Truthfully, when we first started, I had somebody come in and wanted me to dip crickets mm -hmm. right in there. Um, I also had people early on wanting me to make uh, medically induced marijuana candy mm. oh. early on long before yeah. you it know any of that the was viable yeah. yeah and you know i was just like no really? i can't do yeah. this um huh. it, that that to me was really hard because it they were just such new concepts back sure. then and even now with any of that that's a specific thing this is a family-oriented place yeah. and yeah. so those are the huh. type of things early on Mm. That and seemed then, like really bizarre request. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And no, now any it's more, just commonplace. Yeah. There. Anymore, yeah. there's such crazy candies that you can just buy. Uh, yeah, I, nothing really has phased me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 It, it, that's true. We get yeah. some weird things. TikTok has put some things yeah. on slime lickers. It, oh my it's God. like a deodorant roll with that you lick, so the roll on top produces more of the slime, <laughs> and it's just Kids sour, go psycho over sweet. That candy uh. that you lick through a most popular thing I've ever sold. Like that. It's huh. just weird. Interesting. I feel like I need to see this or try this because to me the I'm like, slime eh, it doesn't sound appetizing, but I can imagine kids with like, yeah. You mm -hmm. want it? Okay. Well, no, I don't want it, but if it's like popular, <laughs> I don't, I'm just I don't saying it like would I should make try great it. content. <laughs> Most of these do. We yeah. have things that you can make yourself in the shop. There's oh, that's pop fun. cooking where you can make your own gummies. And they're in the shape really? of ramen or sushi, sushi. and oh, all kinds of things. Burgers. So there's, there's, there's a gamut in there from oh, yeah. all over the world to oh. locally made stuff. It's just grand. That sounds fun. Yeah. 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 Well, it's, I'm telling you, it's not a real dull place, people. <laughs> no. It's very exciting. 
And and you can get samples. I would not mm-hmm. encourage you to sample everything in the store. No, you'd be sick before you yeah. left. Yeah. That's for well, sure. Well, and then the whole palate thing, right? Right. Like, yep. It's just going to mm-hmm. be too much. It's yeah. too much. So narrow your thoughts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Be efficient when you go in. Mm-hmm. You can always return. They're not going to shut the door. They're not going to lock the door no. behind Unless you. Unless it's past night, 5.30. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> then get out and wait till the next day. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is a, a, for I don't know how many years now, Candy Masterpiece has always been a stop on my Christmas shopping oh, list you. to get to fill stockings for well, Christmas morning. Special gifts or mm-hmm. thank yous or yeah. just... Days. There's so so much, yeah, absolutely that you need candy for. Yeah, what's so much your, you need candy for. I'm gonna guess. You should guess too. The second most popular like time of year for them. Do you have a guess? Oh. I'm gonna say I had an initial reaction, but I'm gonna switch it and say Mother's Day. Oh, I would say Valentine's Day. <gasps> oh, duh, that yes, wasn't even Yes, Rebecca, much. you'd be correct. Yes, that. I is- was looking at him like, why would you? S- that wasn't in my top two. I don't know why. <laughs> Easter was my other one. Easter is very popular. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because we make these um these fudge-filled chocolate shelled eggs that we Ooh. hand decorate with oh, fun. royal icing. and They're, oh, they're, they're a process, but they're really fun. I don't know they're... why I did not even think of Valentine's Day. <laughs> It's well, amazing. Yeah. Well, Clearly a lot of the brains think, today. No, a lot this. of people think Halloween don't... though because yeah. candy. But candy. but people go to the store and, and get buy massive mass bags of candy. Of, you're not buying. You're not handing a dollar seventy five yeah, chocolate to every child. Mm-hmm. No rugrats. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that would not. Unless you're in those. a small town, like my mom does, oh, yeah. um, caramel apples or homemade Ooh. treats. But she lives in a town where that's a. And everybody knows her yeah. and she's knows what and she's all, been doing. You know, yeah. There's 10 kids. What have you, you been total. doing? Yeah. So. Is, mother, is, is Mother's Day popular with you It, it, it is. Okay. It is. That ranks <laughs> probably it's not as high as <laughs> Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Or no. Okay. No. I, I think it goes the Christmas season because that's like six weeks. Yeah. Valentine's is a week, and yeah. that normally is the busiest day of the year. Is yeah. Valentine's it's on Day. On Valentine's Day. Yeah. And then. Easter and then Mom's Day, and then the rest we'll is just yeah. just kind of covers birthdays or special birthdays. Occasions. Father's yeah. Day not so much. They're yeah. buying tools and <laughs> you know. Huh. Well, you could come in and get like the crickets for them <laughs> for Dad. Yeah, or the chocolate wrench. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you should oh, make we do chocolates have gummy tools. in the shape. Of, oh, there, oh, there you, you go. go. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> gummy tools. And I used to make some of the molded chocolates, but they're a process and it takes a while and yeah it's just not as popular you did our western art week chocolates that we gave oh, out one right. year um so first of all should have had some assistance in developing the mold for that because it is <laughs> huge it is oh, a yeah? huge chunk of chocolate Ooh, it yeah. really don't see a problem is a four piecer like mm. to oh, adequately yes. eat it you needed to eat it in four settings um yeah, challenge accepted. but it was amazing <laughs> just yeah. so good if you Ooh. ever have the opportunity to come in with a mold <laughs> <laughs> and have custom chocolates made oh i'm telling you i will mm. happily do that and that's a good point some of them are so large you you want your name out there and you want it but in eating some of that it gets to yeah. be a lot. I yeah. I can't eat one it of those It looks holes. pretty when you give it as a gift, and then as the receiver, you're like, oh, they want me to die. Of Take that a pain. hammer to it. <laughs> yeah, chisel it out, yeah. Um, but huh. just, you can be that's so neat. creative when it comes to candies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's form. what I love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. So from Montana's Base Camp for Art and Adventure, we have candy. Yeah. Yes. And it's <laughs> extremely artful. And it's wonderful. Yeah, it plays into our artsy community. Oh, absolutely. All the time. Oh, creative we've got community. Such a great community mm-hmm. with that. I love all of the murals that are coming yeah. up. Um the I just artist. saw the eye one downtown. Oh, oh that yeah. was so that one's pretty. Cool, isn't it? They're, yeah. They're just beautiful. Mm-hmm. And I love that we are starting to make like Tenth Avenue is getting massive updates, mm-hmm. and some of these really old buildings are starting to be brought some back to life. life. Yeah. And that, to me, is the best part, is because mm-hmm. people are seeing that there's promise and there mm-hmm. is a future here. Mm-hmm. I believe Great Falls has a huge future. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're not gonna 
deny you that. No, nope. mm-hmm. I believe it. <laughs> no. I, you know what I was thinking today too. I um, it's pretty uh, good day for me. I went and it's cappuccino day. So this morning I went and drank a cappuccino at Crooked Tree and got some footage of oh, that. Love uh, those some chocolate. People. All right, but the point is, and I brought home a cardamom. Speaking of cardamom, a cardamom right. latte. Anyway, but being downtown and with the snow, it's a plug for winter in Great Falls because oh. the snow is gorgeous. But downtown. It just really, the backdrop of the snow makes the murals pop, the architecture of the building pop, that old brick. It's just, it's beautiful. It's like, like, it just adds a movie. whole different, yeah, it really is. Your own personal Hallmark movie. Yeah, yeah right here in Great Falls. With that. Yeah, Welcome to Great Falls. <laughs> it's got so much personality mm-hmm. everywhere. It, it's just wonderful. And there are diehard people here that believe in it. Yeah. Thank you all very mm-hmm. much for yeah. doing this. Yeah. This is great. That's yeah. what we need. So the next time, you know, you don't even need a next time. Plan your trip now. Make your own your stop to Hallmark yes. movie in cool. whatever area of this community you want. This is a new marketing plug for us it in really winter. It really is. Think. There yeah. you go. It could be. Yeah. Okay. And get your candy. Mm. Reward yourself. Reward your family. Yes. It's just amazing. Mm-hmm. And so we've been sitting here staring at it, yeah. so it's time to I eat. I think you guys <laughs> should try yeah. these. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we it. will definitely eat them. Not a problem because my sick slits will last a while longer. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> I really appreciate you sharing all the insider secrets, all the mm. stories of the food and manufacturing of this stuff. And I call it a food group because it is people. Mm. It's yes. own food group. Absolutely. Um, so next time you're here, Fun 100 Block of Central, <laughs> um, it's in every one of our Montana's Base Camp magazine of a thing that you can take home that's representative of our community. And who doesn't like any kind of candy unless you've got some dietary issues that prevent you from some <laughs> stuff? We but sell sugar-free as well. There you go. There you go. Yep. Um, um, gluten-free. We've got vegan. We've got Oh, it's all taken care I would have learned about those things, right. not having those <laughs> yeah. issues myself. I yeah. Had to learn. So there's options. No there are, are options. Yeah. And if you can't make it because the snow scares you, ship your food home. Yep. And still we call us because we'll help you navigate yeah. the snow. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so thank you again. It yes. was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. This was really fun. Mm-hmm. I I was kind of nervous doing something <laughs> like this. I was like, I don't know if this is going to be. <laughs> talk about this. Yeah. Who knows? Everybody you know, gets but it's a been little a nervous. Blast. Mm-hmm. It's um, been a blast. <laughs> until they get to the end, they're like, oh, that wasn't bad that at wasn't all. That, yeah. We try Just, to make it as painless as possible. Well, that's what yeah. we do here. <laughs> yep. There's not much to compare to us, though. We're over here like, we don't know anything. So <laughs> we make anyone look good. Yeah. <laughs> so folks listening, we can't wait to see your happy healthy, bright, smiling face here in Great Falls to create your memories with your friends and family. So we will see you soon. Stay sweet. Thank you. We're No Damn Experts is the recorded claims from Great Falls, Montana, covering what you need to know about this amazing damn town. Damn, that felt good.